Major League Rookie and Offensive Player of the Week after seven goals and an assist. For people who want to compare him to Pat Spencer, who won a Tuaraton Trophy a couple of years ago for the Greyhounds, is that a fair comparison or not? Well, I think time will tell. They're different players. Minikis, so good as a shooter. Charlie Toomey told me that he's one of the best shooters he's been around. Pat Spencer, more of a dominant ball carrier, dodging type of attackman. So different types of players, but definitely results are similar so far in their careers. As Fellows looks to come back left side, still has it. We'll try to rotate behind. He's able to do so as Army gets set in their good pattern here. Thanks to Burek, who got it back to the right point. Here comes Plunkett. Plunkett hangs onto it, feeds it back left point. Hammer score! Bottom drawer, Morin. And they've installed a goal horn from Tate Rink. 107 in, 1 nothing, Army. And when he sets his feet, there might not be a better shooter. Was very much a big time disciple of the man in charge of the Greyhounds. But Army coming up big defensively again and trying to pick it up for Army was Fournier, but he could not, but he gets some help and it comes back to that as Army. All six guys on the field, what a great job of securing that. From your defensive end to the offensive end. Army whistle for over and back. Loyola will take over and come back quickly. Pass to the right side, Hammer, backhand, score! Tremendous shot! Oh my goodness! Is that Mustang Sally? Yes, it is! Sing us a song as we all get along the game tied at one. Number 23, and these are the situations. Once he got it right there. Morin second of the game. Plunkett second assist of the game. Army leaves Loyola 3-1 out of the gate. As it's brought back again, here comes Pacheco. Looks left side. Fire! Score! Kamish goes upstairs as Loyola responds immediately. We've got a shootout. The OK Corral at 3-2. And Pacheco, don't let the stats fool you. He's dynamic as well. A very, very gifted athlete out of the state of Colorado. They slide to him. He, get, he gets the ball off to Joey Kamish, one of the best players offensively on this Loyola team. And he blows it, blows it by Knox Dent. So Kamish, beautiful shot, picks up his... Fourth goal of the season with a shot like that, you'd think he'd have more. Well, it runs in the family. His brother, Brennan Kamish, All-American short stick defensive midfielder for the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers, went to the Final Four last year, plays pro, PLL Whip Snakes. Army, that's so. right back to the right point now for Morin. Playing catch right now with Mel. Army being patient. They can afford to be as Burek. Wheels it out for Morin, top of the key. No shot yet, Morin got it back. Looks for help from Clark. Back to Morin again. Clark once more, doesn't shoot, good patience. Loyola doing everything they can, down a man. Burek, Morin, try to throw it in front. Good, no, it's just in front, they score for a moment. I thought for sure that Rizanka had it and suddenly he did in the army. Gets a bit of a, but no shot yet by Biddy, who's gonna be kept to the outside. 35 to shoot for the Greyhounds. Curl in front, score! Tremendous individual effort from, guess who? It's Medicus. That's his first of the day, and the margin is now one. And there's something about that number, 90 to 100 miles an hour. Plunkett on the far side of Army, settle back down. It comes to Burek, fires! Never got to stop, ball is still loose. As it shifted back, as eating that shot was Higgins. So Loyola 
Another chance to tie the game as they'll move quickly down into the near side corner. It'll be played back now over for Patra. Back it came for Kamish, but he's kept to the outside. Tracy on him again. Fire saved by Dent. Rebound. Lost in front. Somebody fell down. They score. As cashing into the rebound was Patra as somebody for Army slipped, and the game is tied. Loyola goal by number 51, Adam. And Adam Patra has some of the slickest hands in Division I lacrosse. He's got a Canadian box lacrosse background, the MVP of the Minto Cup and the Man Cup, which is a big deal in box lacrosse. And right here, he's gonna pick up a tough ground ball and put the trash in the garbage for so Loyola. Yeah, look, looks like we have a offsides penalty. As it's brought back by Minicus, so Army turns the ball over, another mental error, so both teams starting to make those. It's quite clear that the combat is getting entertaining. Hammered towards the goal, it's gonna go well wide, but Army able to pick it up as Johnny on the spot was Nixon in the back on an errant shot, as now Army will corral it. And if you're Army, you can't make those mistakes going forward. This is a Loyola team. High praise for them around college across a team that does not beat themselves. They do the little things right and take advantage of opportunities of that typically. Warren, Alicia scores! That's his turn. Jacob Warren puts Army back in front. Got it back, Plunkett. Kept to the outside well as Loyola being very good close to Stout. Plunkett tries to wrap around. He does. Try to get off the shot, ball is loose as the Greyhounds look for it. I thought it came back to Plunkett, but instead, the Greyhounds able to fight it and rescue it. Goals for Army, for Loyola. Minikis has a goal and an assist on the multiple for the Greyhounds. Army working quickly. Shifted back, right side, Moore. Shot, score! Target hit, target destroyed as the Black Knights listen to Alvarisi and make it 6-4 with 37.2 left in the half. So Loyola, they stayed tight with the four-man box on the man down, but the problem is Jacob Morin is shooting from the outside, and when you give him time and space, he's going to blow it by any goaltender in Division I lacrosse. Jake Plunkett, 23 left of the timer. Plunkett spins well, doesn't shoot yet. Double team, ball pops out like an Easter egg, and it's put back behind for safekeeping by Wires, who buries it with Stout. And there's the greatness of Paint Rizanka. He's like a pole with a short stick and a racer against opposing offensive midfielders. He's excellent. Well, that time he was an etch a sketch to turn it upside down, and there's no evidence. But this one's given away. Army will bring it back quickly. Long pole, fast break. Hammer scores! Johnson finishes it off. As that was 40th defensive player of the week, he's now a double threat. Army leads seven to four. And when you're playing the Army Black Knights, it is not a possession until you are safely in the offensive zone playing offense. This ride is tremendous. Fournier, one more to Johnson. And when you fail clears and you have trouble in the clearing game, it leads to opportunities in the unsettled like this. Arm is Knox Dent has just done some squat dancing while holding a fishnet. No Warren, go ahead, sir. Knox Dent standing on his head. Shades of the Maryland UVA game last week. Just tremendous. He's been excellent today. And a penalty coming up as Plunkett got ducked. Comes in. Does it count? There's a flag afterwards. The two officials count. Will they count? They are looking at each other very intently. See if he landed in. No the goal. goal, but Army goes to the EMO. No goal. We'll see if he landed in the goal mouth prior. Let's see what happened here. There's the penalty. There's the penalty. So free possession here, so he can take more of a risk. And yeah, he's gonna land in the goal mouth. Can't do that. Have to land outside the goal mouth. Agree there. Not sure he got a piece of it. Most of me isn't working right now, but my eyes are. Drop back to the left point. Plunkett looks to spin. Fires! Save made by Stout. Rebound is golfed away. Ball is still loose. As looking for a way out of the rat race is Bean. 
He'll put it back. Mr. Mean with a big ground ball for Loyola. As it's brought back now by Sherwood, who yanks it back. As Loyola just trying to get it across midfield right now. Stout, long pass. It's completed to the Ravens get a quarterback. Well, I don't know, but I think Plunkett got the stick up into the grill of Sherwood, and that'll cost. Higgins back behind as the Greyhounds looking to get close again. Jamie by Chess as trying to walk out in front was James. So Chess gets his first save of the afternoon. For, Ch for Chess, those first couple shots, that'll get the blood. Comes, Fellows, works it back behind, near side. No shot yet. Plunkett scurrying like a squirrel, looking for more nuts and grains. O'Connor in front of Cave, score! Buren on a tremendous feed from O'Connor and Murphy leads eight to four. Army! Want to see and get high quality looks. Spazito kept to the outside. 28 left to shoot. Two minutes gone, final quarter. Army in front, 8-4. Buren spinning like a Texas tornado. Comes back in front, great save made by Stout, and the rebound's cleaned up. Huge save on Fellows, as Loyola will get it to midfield and try to go back to work. Here comes Razanka, who's able to dump it off as the Greyhounds will settle it back down. Minicus will take more. When a guy goes down, they step up. Next man up when a part of the field, when an aspect of the game isn't playing to their potential, the other picks it up and steps it up. So a true team is this Army team. Plunkett, up top, score! O'Connor was uncovered. Goes top drawer, and it's 9-4 with 11-13 remaining. Goal by number zero, Bailey O'Connor. And Bailey O'Connor has really found his stride since coming back from injury halfway through the season. He's been terrific. Right there, skip pass, gets to him, overhand, gets it passed out. It comes back to the right point for Burek. Top of the key now for Morin. Morin has four goals today, 33 left on the timer. Morin, still with it, tries to get away from the harpoon. He does. Can't get off the shot, though, but it's taken by Rizaka, who had him played perfectly. To midfield, he comes. Rizaka. Looks to dish it off. He will. Sally in front, score! In front, it came to Lindsay as the Greyhounds have a pulse. It is 9-5 with 9.26 left. And it starts with Peyton Rizanka at the defensive end. All Patriot League versus all Patriot League up against Jacob Moore. And he gets the cause turnover, gets up and out, creates an odd man situation right here. Mustang Sally. Right to Lindsay, and he finishes in front. Back it comes again. Up top, as slowing things down is Murphy. Loyola still no need to panic, but they have to score, I think, on this possession. And the way they played defensively, maybe stack a few offensive possessions here. Murphy, back it came. Great, great knockdown by Chess, who is coming off the bench and has played well. Outlets it. Here comes Murphy, alone. Right side, back it came. Fire scares! Stillings in the still of the night as the Black Knights have drilled one home again and lead 10 to five. And it starts on the defensive end again. An Number army, Johnson to Stillings in an odd man situation. Time and room Johnson. from 12 yards. Time high to high. On the Pings field. the upper 90 of the cage. Arrow, the Black Knights pull off another victory against a ranked team and have the driver's seat for first place. Stands the final score, your Army Black Knights 10, number nine, Loyola. What a tremendous effort by the cadets as they are able to hold Loyola to just a single goal in the second half. The third quarter was the turn 